What's up guys? So today I'm outside for a pretty special video as I'm gonna see what 40 kilograms of dry ice do to my swimming pool. I hope you're ready because I think that's gonna be insane! Ha! <laughs> that's awesome! I actually have 20 more right there, just in case 40 kilograms is not enough, but yeah, pretty sure it's gonna be enough. Uh, okay, let's do it! I hope you'll enjoy! Here we go, the first one! That's pretty awesome! <laughs> pretty crazy, right? But why does dry ice do that? Well, the first thing to know about dry ice is that it's frozen carbon dioxide at minus 78.5 degrees Celsius. The second thing to know is that when it's exposed to room temperature, or in this case, swimming pool temperature, it undergoes sublimation. Uh, and you expect us to know what it is? So sublimation is nothing but the fact that it changes from a solid state directly to a gas state without melting to a liquid one. Hence why the bubbles! Exactly! But then, what about the fog? Well, that's extremely easy to explain. The fog forms when water vapor in the air condenses into tiny suspended droplets, exactly like the clouds above your head. The condensation happens when warm, humid air, which is exactly what you have on top of your swimming pool, is cooled down. In that, when the cold carbon dioxide gets out of the water, it cools down the air and creates this fog. Okay, well, let's return to it then. That's it! 40 kilograms of dry ice! You know what? Let's time to get underwater! Wait! You said that when dry ice sublimates it creates carbon dioxide! Isn't it dangerous? Well, it could. But not here. Why is that, you might ask? Well, simply because carbon dioxide isn't toxic in itself. What it does is changing the chemistry of the air by lowering the levels of oxygen. In this case, we are doing the experiment outside, meaning that we have an infinite level of oxygen. So, worst case scenario, it might get a bit harder to breathe. Here we go! Here we go! So it's a bit hard to breathe inside, but that's freaking amazing! to touch it! It's minus 78.5 degrees Celsius, you said! You're right! It is cold. Very cold. And it can burn you. Ha! But there's a trick! If you look at me when I'm holding it, I'm always moving it in my hand. Dry ice is so cold that it burns the same way something hot would burn you. In fact, you can poke it or hold it as long as it doesn't stay more than a second at the same place. Would you hold a burning plate with your hands? No, you don't! Well, do exactly the same with the dry ice. And it's pretty safe. And if you want 100% safety, just wear gloves. And this is the end of 40 kilograms of dry ice versus swimming pool. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel, go follow me on all my social medias and even in the street if you want. Although that would be kind of creepy. Support me on Patreon, send me amazing arts just like this one. I mean, thank you. This is freaking amazing. And no matter what happens, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to smile and bye-bye. That's even better by night!